Along Highway 27, south of Rockwood, by the James T. Wright Bridge, stands an old monument often overlooked. It's for a scoutmaster and seven of his boys. March 23rd, 1929. The weather was strange. 60 degrees with threatening skies. Three inches of rain were about to fall. Who could foresee that little White's Creek would rise to 600 feet across? Tom Douglas was one of the youngest on that star-crossed camping trip 65 years ago, the night the heavens opened up and washed Troop 45 to kingdom come. But I'll tell you, when that house left, us boys were scared. Mama didn't want the boys to go. But Mary Crabtree's twin brothers, Fred and Ed Burnett, insisted. Of course, they wanted to go, probably, because uh, they were scouts, and they wanted to be, you know, with, uh, with all the rest of them. It was pouring around. Sometime in the morning, I woke up and laid my hand out of the cot and got it in water. A lot of people said, I'd have got out if I'd been there. I said, yeah, you have done just like we did. <laughs> you'd climb up on the rooftop. And it wasn't funny. And that's what we done, all of us. As the creek rose, debris took the bridge out. Then the cabin started to move. I reckon it moved a little more. And then the next time, it just made it almost a half a ton getting out in the creek. The house was torn apart. Scoutmaster Jim Wright tried to save them. When it broke up, right when it left, there's two or three boys fell in the water and Jim Wright jumped in there to get them and he never was seen anymore. Water, whole trees and drifts sent Troop 45 tumbling down White's Creek. Willie Evans clung to his half-brother Tom. Last tree we went up and I grabbed a hold of a twig and stopped and Willie was right there and my half-brother was with me. I said, Willie, I don't believe I'm going to make it. Just tell them all I said goodbye. People had gathered on the railroad trestle and could hear their screams. By late afternoon, rescuers had navigated to reach the boys. Many were injured. Tom suffered a compound fracture and spent seven and a half months in the hospital. He was lucky. I forget who found uh, Fred, but he was. it was three or four days before they found him. Why? Well, he was passing under some brush. How old were they? They were 15. For saving the lives of Tom and Jack Hamby, Willie Evans received the Boy Scout Medal of Honor. You ever think of those boys that didn't make it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I do. I don't know how anybody got out of that outfit. The 1929 floods were catastrophic, but in Rockwood, it's a more personal tragedy. Across a lifetime, Tom Douglas still ponders the unanswerable question. Why do you think you lived through that? I don't know. I wonder about it. I just wonder why I'm here today.